Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. State budget shortfalls are hurting Illinois schools. It's a story we've shared with you in the past from several of our school districts. To begin tonight's Education Watch 10, News 10's Matt Gregory looks into one district on the brink of closure. More than 80 years of history mark the halls of West Richland High, a small hallway that matches the small classes it graduates every year, and a school that, after this year, could cease to exist. We can do nothing and go broke, which we would go broke. Oh, a year from this January, we could no longer continue to pay our bills. Budget cuts have hit Illinois schools hard. State funding is not matching the price to keep programs and classes open, making small school districts like West Richland harder than ever to operate. And that's why this year, the school board hired Don Hale and another superintendent. And our job at that point was to come in I closed the school district down uh, and get them moved over to go to uh, Olney next year. Merging East and West Richland High School. But a community that is so attached to these walls put together a petition to keep it open. Now Don Hale says without a move there are three options. One is to go bankrupt and let the state take over the school. Or they could cut programs and teachers to stay open. The superintendent still favor closing down the West Richland School District. That would mean taking the high school students from this school here and sending them about 10 miles down the road to Olney, to the East Richland High School. At the last board meeting in, in August, they directed the superintendents to proceed with having a vote amongst the public. Public voting would have to be held in both East and West Richland areas before the schools could attempt to merge again. Time ticking away as the future grows cloudy for schools in Illinois. In Noble, Illinois, with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. The West Richland School Board will meet September 16th.